this video is part of a series, be sure to check out the link in the description of this video for the full playlist. I recommend watching all those videos first. We've been looking at Caden Live, and as you may notice, uh, looking at this, it looks a little different because I did just upgrade to the new version of Caden Live, uh, version 16.08.1. Um, so, yeah, new version. Uh, we'll see if there's anything really different. We're going to be doing some basic stuff today. We're going to do a few more videos in this series on Caden Live. We're going to look at some very basic uh, visual effects, very, very basic. And although I'm showing you this stuff in here, I really hope to do a tutorial series in the future on Blender and video editing. And because uh, Blender is a lot better for when it comes to effects. And although I'm going to show you how to do some basic effects here, I find that Blender does a better job and has definitely way more advanced effects stuff in it. Um, but today we're going to do a basic split screen and there's lots of ways of doing this. I'm going to show you the simplest today and depending on your setup you may um, choose to do other uh, similar effects, masking, rotoscoping. Today we're going to do a basic crop feature. Now, um, the video I have here is a clip of me I just recorded a few minutes ago and it's me with a little firefighter helmet on, dancing here, introducing somebody, and then I'm gonna go in the hallway and come walking out dancing. And what I want is to have both those shots on the screen at the same time so it looks like there are two of me. Things to think about while you're recording this, and recording things properly saves you a lot of time in editing. Uh, number one, use a tripod, because uh, if these shots don't line up, you can't do what I'm about to do. Secondly, your lighting needs to be consistent. I'm filming inside, and although my lighting is horrible, it's consistent. If you're near a large window or you're outside and there are clouds going in front of the, the sun and the sun's coming in and out behind clouds, that's going to affect your lighting and it's going to affect what you're doing here. And we're doing a basic crop today. We don't even have a feathering feature on this particular uh, crop, uh, which would help feather out and, and help you... Um, hide any inconsistencies. Um, also think about where you're going to be splitting the screen and don't let the person, the actor, cross across that. I'm going to split the screen right down here. That's why I kind of put myself in this doorway here. I know on either case not to cross over that. If you don't have something like that, you know, mark on the floor, make sure the actors don't cross. If you need them to cross now, we could animate where our cut is, but again, we don't have any feathering effects, so you'll probably see it if you do that uh, with this particular effect. Um, but again, we're going to be looking into like rotoscoping and masking in future videos, which will give you a little more uh, flexibility on that. Um, but yeah, very basic cropping effect. But first, let's trim up our two clips. And again, I recorded this all in one shot because even though my camera's on a tripod, I didn't want to wiggle it or move it by pressing the record button. So I recorded it all in one shot. Now, I'm going to find where I start acting, if you want, that's what you want to call it. That's space bar here. There we go. And if I want to you know, find an exact spot, I can use my left and right arrows to go frame by frame. But once I find that spot, I can then trim up this clip slide it over, find where I'm done there. Again, I'm using my left arrow to back up here to right about there. X on my keyboard to trim that clip there. S to go back to selection. And I'm gonna put the second video on a lower layer, but make sure it's a video layer. Both of these have to be in video layers. If I put it in the, an audio layer, you won't see it, you only hear it. So now I'm gonna find my second clip. I want uh, where I go out of frame, so right there, because I went back there and I basically thought, okay, I have so many seconds telling you to come out. But of course, you can adjust it till it uh, the two videos line up. So I've now made them the same length. I'm going to hit Control and scroll on my mouse wheel to zoom in. And now we can scrub through here. We can hear both layers, but we can only see the top layer. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to select that. And as you can see, I've already have it up here. But I'll go to my effects panel. Uh, which may be in a tab down here. Again, I've shown you in previous videos how you can drag them out, and I like mine uh, in its own separate little uh, tab here, or panel here. And in the search bar, I'm going to type in crop, which gives you a number of different crop options. We're going to use crop, scale, and tilt. Drop that there, and we're going to be cropping from the left. Now, even though I'm inside on a tripod with lighting set up, as I begin to crop, you can see that the lighting has changed uh, a little bit just through the, the, the shot here, which isn't very long. Not a big deal if I was gonna cut it here, that might be a problem. That's where feathering comes in handy. And again, we're gonna look more into that sort of thing in the next few weeks. But um, 
we don't have a feathering feature, but that's fine. I purposely lined up this shot so that I can line it up right here. It's not really noticeable when I put it near the lines on the wall here. So now I have my two shots. I can scrub through there, make sure that no one crosses over the line, but I have both shots of me dancing. Now, something else to think about. Again, I find that Blender definitely handles system resources better, but one of the biggest drawbacks Caden Live is when it comes to effects. You can do some very basic visual effects with it, but it's it's it doesn't perform very well, especially once you start getting multiple layers layered on top. Now I only have two layers here, and then my computer's halfway decent, and if I hit spacebar, you can see it plays, but it's a little jerky. The frame rate on the preview is kind of low. Not a big deal, it's gonna render out okay. I'm also using extremely high, you know, I'm using my uh, video directly off my, my Canon camera, so it's full HD, 30 frames a second. Uh, newer cameras, you know, can be doing 60 frames a second, all that sort of stuff. But if you find it running slow and you need it to be smooth in the preview, again, look into proxy clips, which I previously did a video on, which will make it run a lot smoother. But that's pretty much it for our effect. Now I can go to render and choose whatever format I want to render out to, and then uh, I have my video clip done. Um, I will put that clip, that rendered clip, at the end of this tutorial. But real quick, I want to thank you for watching. Again, be sure to check out the previous videos if you haven't. I'll link it to the playlist in the description. Also, links in the description to my website where you can search through all my videos, as well as a link to my Patreon page if you want to become a supporter over there, even as little as a dollar a month is very helpful. That's patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. If you can't support financially, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. All that stuff helps out greatly. And I thank you for watching. I hope that you're finding these tutorials useful and that you give Caden Live a try. And uh, have a great day. And here he is, me! Oh yeah, uh-huh.